Hi, welcome to Penny's Crafty Creations. Thanks for taking time out of your day to hang out, chit chat, craft, and create with me. Today I it is the eighth, which means it is hashtag Enjoy Pink with us, and that is an open collaboration hosted by Melody Made, Annie Create, by Mimi with Love, and Hey Little Missy, and it is sharing your pink projects that you have created. And today I am transforming this into a pink creation. So I'm just going to remove this sticker here off the front. It is a notebook journal that I picked up at a thrift store and I just thought it would be really cute to turn it into a pink journal. So I'm using some paper from the textiles collection and I shared this on a um, Friday Fave paper pad hosted by Cosmos Crafty Mom. I will try and find the link and link that down below so you can see all the papers that are in it. So I've chosen two that I think are going to look really cute with it and I'm going to use a photograph of a bee that I took for the cover. So the first thing I want to do is find it or just set it down. Is I want to change the paper color on the front. So I'm going to tuck this in, just like so, and there's going to be some trimming after, and I'm going to use my scotch glue here, and I'm just going to take that cover, inside cover, and I'm going to put some glue down, going all around the edges here. Glue wants to roll on me today. And then I am going to take this piece of paper and just tuck it in there, making sure that I have both edges. And I want to get it nice and tucked and then push down and work my way around to get that glue to be all over the place. And the scotch glue is going to dry really fast, which is the, one of the reasons why I like it so much. So you see we have a little bit that we're going to have to trim, but I'm going to do that after. Maybe. I might like it. We'll see. So I'm going to do the same thing here. I'm going to outline that cover, getting that glue as close to the edge as possible. And then I'm going to fold it and get it to line up perfectly. And then I'm just going to work it around again. And I'm just applying pressure. And then I'm going to come through with my thumbnail and just give that nice crease. And I'm going to repeat the process for the back using the same paper. Now that I think of it, I should have taken a before picture of this notebook, but that's okay. You saw what it looked like beforehand. So repeat that process. Take your paper and set it inside there. Get it as close to that edge as you can. Make sure you're on both sides and then give it a good press down. And it's a great way to change any notebook that you don't like really care for the color of, but you love the inside of the notebook. So just pressing on that as well. And then I'm going to repeat that process that we did for the cover, getting as close to the edge as possible, folding over, and then pressing down as well, giving that binding a crease with my fingernails again. So we're almost there. Make sure we have it going the right way. Then I'm going to come in with my seam one, and I have a little rip here, but it's going to be bigger than the paper, so that's okay. I have a little bit of run over here, so I'm just going to trim that away. Make sure I have the right way. And then I'm just going to apply some glue here. And 
and along that edge. And that's where we're going to put our seam. So I want this sharp edge to be down at the bottom. Kind of match it up so that we know our paper will be lined up. And then just press down. And flip. And then kind of fold this over to give yourself an idea. Now, you don't have to create that lined look on the inside if you don't want to. You can just take your paper, fold it over, and tuck it in. And then you have that seam like the original book did. I don't want that. I want to have a little bit of a seam. So to help me out with cutting it, I'm going to fold here. So that is folded there. I'm going to cut along that fold. Then I'm going to fold again, lining up that bottom and pushing down. And I want to strengthen the spine, so I'm going to leave that there, and I'm going to go ahead and apply glue right here. Not a lot, because that part's going to be on the inside of the seam, so we just want to get it to close it. And I'm going to round it over, because I want to get that crease there, so that that eliminates having to judge after. So I want to get it lined up with that paper as best as I can. And then I'm going to apply the glue again here. You want to go around that edge, down the line, and then add some here. And then we're just going to fold it over and push down. And that gives us a nice straight line there. So just push, and you can use a uh, bone folder if you have one on this part if you like. And you want to get your glue right to that edge. So right along this edge here. So we have that part. And we have a little bit that we need to trim away. So open up your book. Just like that, you can see there's a little bit here. So you open up your book, you have that little bit right along there. So while you're holding your book open, just take your scissors and use that top part of your scissors as a guide along there and just cut. And then do the same thing with the bottom, cut inward, use your scissors as the guide, and then repeat the process for the top. The same thing, use your scissors as the guide, slide it right up against there. And then flip it and make sure you got all that excess over here as well. And I had a little piece that didn't want to come apart there. There you go. So you have these little shavings, little bits of extra. So there it is, all nice and covered. Looks absolutely beautiful. So we're going to put these in the scrap paper. And now I really want this to be my focal point of my book here. Absolutely gorgeous. So the Scotch Tacky Glue is great for photos. So you do the same thing. Apply your glue right onto the back. Get as close to that edge as possible. Up. 
and then align where you want it to be. And I kind of want it centered. And I don't want to get my fingers on it, so I'm using a clean mat. And I'm just going to push down using my bone folder. And there we have it. There is my pink creation for this month. Uh, be sure to check out the hashtag and see everything that has, everyone has created and all the pink creations and all the wonderful creators that are taking um, part in this club. Have a great day and I'll see you in the next video.